everybody, welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. We are in Windhelm now. I basically brought a room, slept the night, and uh, we are we are here now. Importantly, uh, let's have a look at what I've got. That's right, I've got a cloak, a big, nice fur coat. Um, so I, I looked up how to craft them, basically, and I did do it. Um, I had all the relevant skills to craft it, so that's fine, and I had enough wolf skins to do it. It's not like the best cloak, but it's not bad, so that's good. Um, Lydia's got her, like, you know, slightly short one on, but I think that looks really good. Um, with her armour, actually, so I'm very impressed with that. Let's just have a little wander around uh, Windhelm while we're here. We can go to the tower a bit later. Um, try to figure out. Always at a nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, Carl. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Okay. Ha, then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. If Aventus Aretino walks the dark path, okay. his destiny can lead only to ruin. Now. Enough. We will speak Interesting. No more I am the only friend you need. Interesting. I tried to hear something about safe. a cursed In child. Dangerous new world. It is quite sad. A young boy, Aventus Aretino, lost his mother recently and was sent to an orphanage. But he has returned home, and people have heard strange chanting. They say it's the Black Sacrament. The ritual to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Why a little okay. boy would want to contact a group of murderers is beyond me. He is inviting evil into this city. Until next time. Okay, interesting. Uh, wow. So we're, we're actually quite nice and warm currently, which is good. Oh, look at this poor lady. How the hell does she survive out here? Spare a coin for an old man. Oh, thank you. Shame he's with your bed pit no pocket. Good, are we? How much would it cost me? Yeah, I'm not interested. Maybe some other time. I would have the one eye. Framed. So, I really like Windhelm. I think it's very, very pretty. Um, a lot more so than I remember from the original. It, uh, it really is really nice. Um, it's kind of making me want to join the Stormcloaks even more. And I think Vaz being here, even though he's not particularly happy with some of the locals, but you get idiots like that in you know, all cities, don't you, at the end of the day? I think he's, he's quite impressed with what uh, with how Windhelm looks. But to be fair, he's not been to Solitude, so, you know, I'm not going to make any hasty decisions. It's like uh, getting a little bit of light snow, perhaps. Hopefully nothing too bad. The air is bone chilling. Well, yeah, it is quite bad then. Uh, got my nice warm cloak on, though. I must admit, I do like having like a cloak for some reason. It just seems to be good. Uh, I wish we still had them in real life. Uh, okay, so this looks like... Do we think this is where we need to go? even get up there, there seems to be some sort of statue to tell us on there. Now I can actually see today, uh, rather than that, that, there was like a kind of a, a semi-snowstorm, uh, even though it's very cold still. Well, we do not know what is going on around this corner though, okay, we do know. It seems like a really bad place for the Imperial to be. Also, I think if you're going to Solitude, even I know that you're going in the very much the wrong place. And I sincerely would not tell anybody nearby that you were going to Solitude. Uh, I seriously don't think they would be too impressed with you. Uh, right, so I think we need to go up there, yeah. So, uh, we've got to look for 
some sort of path. There's always a path. That's actually what I'm wearing, like a, just a common Timberwolf uh, cloak. Uh, I, I like Nidia with the outfit she's got, but maybe uh, she look better with her. Okay, so does it like there's been some sort of party around here? Could that be remnants of when Sam and myself were uh, hanging around? Although, quite why they were so okay, we're very cold, so let's just warm up. Let's have a look at how Lydia looks with the uh, Timberwolf cloak. I am sworn to carry your burdens. She might not even wear it, to be fair. She can at least carry it, though. It's funny that I went out of my way to craft that, and then literally the first people we come across have got it. Okay. Lead on. Yeah, I think we'll keep that on. I think where it's appropriate around here. Side Lydia. Goodness knows what the hell we're gonna find in here. Apparently, a wedding ring. Wow, this looks pretty nice as well. Okay. Yeah, so definitely some sort of party has been going on. Uh, I'll take the food you got though. Salmon steaks are my favourite. So keen on cabbage, if we're being honest. You know, the one thing I'm looking forward to most about uh, the next Elder Scrolls, having the Fallout 4 style of, um, wait, is this actually where I'm, that's telling me to head out there, but I'm going to ignore it and wander around in here. Yeah, the Fallout 4 style of, uh, I was going to say that when you go up to something, you can see what's in it without having to open it. Doors barred from the other side. What the hell's going on in here? Okay. You'd better quiet down before you end up there. Then I'd have to work the floor. So that was a hell of 
a shot, wasn't it? Look at that. That is literally right through her head. Wow. Okay. What have we got here? Iron, iron. Chewing's heart. Oh, brilliant. My smithing's increased. I'll take the iron ingots because they're useful for building my house. Uh, uh, that was a shot. Uh, but otherwise, God, how much wine does one place need? Potion of resist gold. Always very useful. So that door's barred from the other side. We can't get round there, so I guess the only way is down. So I'm seriously wondering what the hell has been going on down here. up to and how did we like how many days were we out because it's taken me about a week to actually get here and let's make me sound some sort of magician of like resist magic. I've taken three of them down so I can't can't really do much more than that. Maybe like fortify health. Okay. Well wow. oh, there was a trap that could have been what killed me before. Ice wizard.
what's in here first. Dwarf and Grey Sword of Winnowing absorb 20 points of damage. No. Uh, I should like be disenchanting these things. To Misty Grove. Needed to repair it. Oh, the Hag Raven feathers and so on. You can throw all those out. You see, I really just needed something to encourage oh. me to go out into the world and spread merriment. Okay. Uh, right. What are you staring at? It's where you are, you. I am Sanguin, Daedric Prince of Debauchery. Ah. I know. Well, how could I trust you until we shared a few drinks? But it wasn't long. Sam Queen, Sam Groovy, yeah. The more interesting like error of my not quite holy staff than this wasted wish. Uh, why'd you choose me? Let's be honest here. I don't always think my decisions are easy. <laughs> but you, you're going places. Well, thank you. And maybe a little influence from your old Uncle Sanguine could help a judgment. Thanks, I guess. My pleasure. But I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Okay. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong what? and clean rooms. We're in Markarth. What? My father Clepper. Are you joking me? I just came out to see you. We bring to our youth to say We're in Markarth. What the hell happened? What did he give me? The Sanguine Rose that summons the Dramora for 60 seconds. Oh, it's pretty nice actually. Also, summoning a Dramora for 60 seconds is supremely useful. I might actually favor that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna. Like, To be honest with you, this isn't actually too much of an issue, is it? Because we, uh, I think the place we need to find, um, the Jürgen Wing Caller is up here. So we would have had to have headed back, uh, oh, that's where the sword is apparently in Dark Shade Corpse. No, that would have been good to get on the way back, wouldn't it? We've got to go to Whiterun for the Elder Gleam get a carriage um, but I think as we're kind of halfway halfway I think it's Ustengrav um, one of the others might be for uh, Barbarous I did not expect to end up back here I really did not uh, that has uh, surprised me although Markov is uh, looking very very beautiful I will say actually we didn't really get that much of a good look around did we before because of uh, our, shall we say, actions. Um, but uh, it looks, it looks very, very pretty. What is it? Dragon? Is she? She's not going to be happy at all. What? 
it's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter? No, and, uh, yeah, just no. No one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. I'll go right to say that. Sorry, don't know anything. Thank you for your time. You know, when somebody mentioned Daedra, I'm done with them for a bit, okay? I've had to go halfway across. Okay, uh, I've had to go halfway across the, what time is it anyway? At least it's only 3pm. Halfway across the, um, uh, across the world, I guess, or whatever is my world now. Because of them, so, no, I am done. I am done with Daedra for a bit. I generally did not expect to be here. I guess it just launched you back to the, uh, you know what? This is a sign that I should help those people over there. You know, those ones we ignored last time. This is that uh, Daedric Priest, or not Daedric Priest, the Daedric uh, God's way of saying, you need to help them. So come on. Guys, I've been sent here by God. We're the only ones left. Okay. False one would be, wouldn't it? I'll send word to the Yarl. Dude, you probably I'm should a cold chop the hair around the, around the sides. It's not a great look, to be completely honest with you. Uh, what's going on? Kolskeder, overrun with force now. What are you blind in one eye? You are, apparently. Another day, another settlement gets attacked. No uh, way from the region of Hey, Damn Skaggy. Only a matter of time before they hit here, too. What's this about the Forsworn? It seems Kol Skager mine got hit by Forsworn. And this madness gets more bold every season. Pavo and Gath are the only survivors. I'll be sending word to the Yarl about this. But I don't know when help will come. Look, I've been sent here by the Daedra to help you out. So I'll take care of the Forsworn. Great. And we'd all rest a little easier. Of course we would. But that's nonsense. You can't handle a group of forsworn by yourself. Their axes don't hurt you. Their magic will. Do you own this mine? That I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and pick up some iron, feel free. I'll pay for anything you bring me. Okay. Until next time. Lydia, we have some for forsworn to take out Give me the false one from Cole's Cole's kicker mine come on Lydia I'm the hardest worker in that town better than any one of you let us uh, make haste so that's two daydream princes that we've been well I guess three actually because Meridia spoke to us as well uh, so, there's, uh, that's three Daedric Princes who have already contacted us, and I think most people in their lives would feel, uh, pretty shocked if it happened to them once. We've had three in the space of, like, a week of being in Skyrim, so I think Fass is beginning to realise now that, uh, trying to live a peaceful, uh, quiet life, it, it's just not going to happen, is it? it? Trouble is going to find him wherever he goes. Whether he goes back in time, or whether he goes uh, out drinking, or just whatever, it will find him. And uh, that's a very uh, interesting place up there, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, so, I think... Oh, shit. So we took out the false one, actually, I remember when we were leaving here last time, we came across them. That's interesting, I don't remember ever being able to see that before up there. How interesting. You know, sometimes you forget bits about this game. Uh, certainly a lot of things I'm looking forward to doing, shall we say. Swan, from what I remember, don't have a lot of armor. 
outside. this gold mine wow a literal gold mine okay there's somebody coming up this way oh my god we summoned an actual daedra that's pretty cool get him daedra Okay, you can, uh, she can have wield that now, I guess. I don't mind if she wields that, that's fine. Can't really give you much of this because you'll start wearing it. I'm happy with what you're wearing. Uh, let's give you like six of these because these are really heavy. Yeah, there we go. Let's go back and tell Pavo that uh, his mind's clear. Honestly, me not being able to take on a bunch of uh, Forsworn in a mine, I mean, really, come on. That joke. Um, when I've got the uh, Sanguine Rose, I can do anything I want. It's actually awesome looking as well, isn't it? As well as being super powerful. I wonder if it works like on dragons. I, I wonder if that dragon's nearby as well. I kind of hope not. So, uh, don't think so. I think this this armor is a little bit bright in the sunshine, but it's okay. Pavo, 
explore and killed everyone. It's it's actually clear. You drove them off by yourself? Yeah. Well, I, I have a Lydia. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Seven hundred and fifty gold. Oh, she looks great in this light, doesn't she? For your help. Wow. Awesome. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Seven hundred and fifty. I mean, I, I guess it was a literal gold mine, so it shouldn't be too surprising that they gave me that much money. But you know, we'll see. I guess. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna finish up there. We have discovered. Well, we finally got to the bottom of what happened on our crazy night out. No more nights out for a while, I think. We have cleared a mine for uh, these guys over here. We've been magically teleported by Daedric Prince to Markarth. Uh, next time we're going to head, I guess, off this way. Ustengrov, that kind of way. Uh, let me just have a look, actually, what the... So, let's have a look where that is. Uh, where that is. Where that is. And where that is. Okay, so we've got that there. We've got the statue of Meridia there. We've got the rueful axe. And oh, okay, so that's where the white file is, Forsaken Cave. So we could have gone like we could have done that one right after if we'd have been there still. But also this area around here, Winterhold, Dawnstar area, that is super cold. Uh, we'll probably want to get some better gear, like cold weather gear, before doing that. So maybe we will head up this way, like hit it like that. Uh, we'll see anyway. Because let's face it, every time we make a plan, we end up across the other side of the map. So. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, it's been my pleasure. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. We also need to go home and do some more, like, extensions to the house and stuff. I've got a bit more corundum now, so I'll probably be able to do it. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching, as always. I'll catch you next time.